right, I want to start this and name this this uh, uh, video called "Fuck the Army." I, 69 years old, and I joined the United States Army at the age of 17 in 1965. I joined the army because I was poor. I came from a poor family. There was nine kids at home. I was the oldest of nine children. And times were hard. I couldn't find a job. I was 17 years old, just graduated from high school. There were no jobs. The only thing, and I, I had known this from the time I was in high school, that I would probably go into the army or some of one military after high school because my family couldn't afford to send me to college. College was not even something spoken or thought about. Um, I did try for about a month after high school to get a job. I Mainly, I didn't even have a quarter to take the bus downtown. I didn't have any money, and times were rough. So I joined the Army, and no sooner than I get in, I, I realized that... Uh, most of the people hated it. My fellow soldiers, they, most of the people that joined in 1965, there there were some people that joined. I, for, let me first state that in 1965, 60 to 75 percent of the people that I served in the in the army with were drafted. They they people that did join were mostly people like myself poor had no no had no other option in life and others that joined who were maybe a little bit older joined to, just to avoid the draft because they knew they were going to get drafted anyway so if you in that time if you joined you would get uh, maybe a better job and if you drafted you took your chance you'd probably end up in the infantry right on the front line so people would join that were a little bit older just to avoid the draft and the rest of us were just poor son of a bitches like myself. The phrase I heard most often when I was in the army was fuck the army. Every day, I heard it every day. People hated it. There was no patriotism. There was no love of country. It was a, for, for some of us, it was a way out of poverty and for the others, it was just a way to, to avoid the draft. And nobody had this sense of patriotism at all. Now, I went in the Army in August of 1965. By March of 1966, I went to Schofield Barracks, Hawaii, to join up with the 25th Infantry Division, even though my MOS, my military occupation, was not infantry. I was in military intelligence. I was attached to an infantry division. And if you're not aware of the military, infantry are the ones that do all the fighting. So a month after arriving in Schofield Barracks, Hawaii, we got on ships and went. the whole division went to Vietnam. In Vietnam, I, didn't ha I wasn't on the front line, but I was, I was with an infantry division, which was very close to the front line. We were out in the boondock, but I didn't have to get in a foxhole and fight or anything. I would say upwards of 90% of the people that were in Vietnam, that were in the Army, hated it. There were some lifers, the, the, the upper, you know, NCOs, uh, non-commissioned officers and officers that were, that were slightly motivated, but the rest of us hated the Army. And every day I would hear the same phrase, fuck the Army. The, I started getting a lot of resentment from uh, my fellow soldiers because they had been drafted, like I say, 60% or more had been drafted, and they hated the fact that I joined, and they thought that I joined because I loved it or it was gung-ho or something, which I wasn't. I was just as, I hated it just as much as anybody else, but I did love getting those three square meals a day, I, and I, you know, I didn't get that when I was at home, and I liked, I, that, that, that part I did like. I liked having a little change in my pocket, but as far as loving the war in Vietnam, I hated it the war in Vietnam, and everybody that was there hated it. They hated being there. There was no patriotism. There was no love. Oh, I would say there was one or two here and there, but for the most part, upwards of 90% hated it. And I did my year in Vietnam, 
I came back home. Um, I spent another year and a half in the Army after coming back from Vietnam. In 1968, I got out. And I, I say it today because I, I, today is Veterans Day, and I hear all of this hump and pump about, thank you for your service and all this shit. Fuck that. I didn't care about the military then, and I don't care about it now. All it was was a meal ticket, and that's it. Bye.